you everyone for joining us. So Scott, what are we talking about today? We are talking about a flood. Our favorite topic. Flood insurance. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. So, but it's a good thing because you got to have it. Yeah, I mean, if you are in South Louisiana, you should probably carry flood. But here's the caveat. There are some changes that are occurring. I know. We're probably scaring everybody. Like, it's November. We're talking about flood. I thought that yes. already passed. Yeah, but, but there are some changes that are occurring in flood. Now, we were anticipating these changes. I don't know if you remember this, but there was a moratorium put, it, put in uh, regarding raising the flood insurance premiums years ago. Yet all of that, and, the, and then they said, you know, mm -hmm. Obama signed all that paperwork, and they said they had to do a flood study. Well, guess what? All those flood studies were done, new maps were took, were put out, and now yeah, here we are here today. Comes 2019. And here comes the rate changes. So, tell me about the rate changes, Ooh, Scott. All right, come, it's, it's already fun. changed. We're really coming in January one. Don't be afraid. We we did the math already, so don't we be afraid. We did the math. It sounds so, way worse than what it is. If you are in a pre <laughs> Preferred flood zone, uh -huh. right? That means X, B, C, preferred flood zone. You are going to have a change of 8%. 8%. Yes. It's like, oh no, 8% change. Annually, though. Annually. Annually. So it's going to increase annually. You ready for my math? 8% change. Let's say you got 450 of flood insurance a year. 400. It's going to be $36 more. Yes. So a <laughs> oh, year. A year. A year, so it's going to increase. But the good news is you don't have to carry it. Carry it, however, we highly recommend you do. And if you are in a non-preferred loan, that is a, a, a e five percent change. So quick math: let's say you are doing twelve hundred dollars a year annually in flood insurance. It's going to go up sixty bucks annually. Annually, so yes, you are going to face some changes in your premiums. And obviously, we recommend that you speak to your insurance provider to get the exact amounts of what you are looking at. So the other thing though, the big change though, mm. is this, this is not your primary residence. So say you're an investor out there, you have some rentals with flood insurance on them, you're looking at a 22 to 25% annual increase in your rate if, you're in a, if you are in a nine preferred zone. So that means flood zone A, AE, things like that. So. Obviously, this becomes in effect January 1st. Mm -hmm. uh, reach out to your flood insurance provider. Uh, see what you need to know. See, you know, see if they can give you a little bit more information about it. Because yes. yes, we are just like we got in a briefing Love. on it, and then we figured, hey, this would be a great opportunity to let you guys know. Always recommend that 15, 20 minute conversation to say, hey, mm -hmm. look, what what changes am I expected? What's my numbers? It doesn't hurt, so you're not surprised that the first bill right. comes January first. And hey, and this is something you got to keep in mind when you're out there searching for a new home. Do you want to be in a flood zone or not? These are some things that you are, as a home buyer or home seller, want to be aware. this will de definitely affect your sales. So anyway, you guys make it a great day and we will see you next time.